Hi guys, today it's a little bit about motivation for your practice to go the extra mile and that you are doing more than you think you need to do. I know that some of you think this, this, those are bad news, but in the end of the day, I'm gonna explain in a second what I mean by saying this. My daily business is to watch golfers practice. And you know, I'm teaching them, I'm giving them ideas what they should try out and how they can change things. And I can watch them, you know, then, you know, I, I turn them, I, I like to put my hands on and just really get them into a, some kind of position they have never been before probably. So for most of them, those positions when we are talking about, you know, about the turn going really low or having straighter arms, you have to give your brain some credit. They're not used to, the comfort zone is so strong. You have to practice those exhausting and unusual and really, um, yeah, powerful positions and you have to repeat them all over again. So this is what I actually wanna say by, uh, what mean by saying this is, you know, when you practice that turn, because I know a lot of you were really keen of watching that video about the turn, you really, really have to go down with your shoulder and you have to feel your right shoulder also going this way. You know, you have to make practice swings. You have to overdo, let's say this way, you know, when, I'm when I try to turn, first of all, I'm thinking, okay, what do I have to watch? I have to watch that shoulder to go down, the right back, the left leg, you know, all the little things I need to watch. And then, you know, then I'm standing over the ball and I'm trying to get into this position. You can, you can hear by listening to my voice how exhausting this is. And you have to do this over and over again. And you know what? You also have to accept that many, many balls will be hit not well. This is an automatic thing, what is mostly happening by changing something. And um, slowly I'm getting really relaxed in my lessons because when I started, the whole thing 10 years ago was always worried because I always thought, you know, they really have to hit the ball well when they leave my coaching. For me now, it's much more important that my, my um, students and also you understand what I'm talking about and that you feel where I wanna go with you. And for that, you really have to go the extra mile by practicing that. So um, just by, by telling a few things I'm working on on my swing, right? Of course, I'm always, I'm always with the turn, you know, because I also have my comfort zone where I'm getting too upright. I need to bend over a little bit more, but also I need to stay down. I have a little bit of a, you know, I have, to, I have a little bit of a problem of an early extension. So I really have to stay down. I really have to push back my butt a little bit. And then, you know, I'm standing over the ball and I'm really, really overdoing this. If people are watching you, they think, what the heck is she doing? But in the end of the day, I don't care. You are really trying to get a movement in your system. And you've done your old movement like a thousand times or even more. And now by want to change it, you have to overdo it and it needs to hurt a little bit. So now I show you how I would, for example, this is my thing. So now I would really like, uh, you know, I would really overdo it. And the shot's not gonna be great, but I accept it because I have to get into that motion. So you have to go that extra mile wherever and whenever in life. And most of you know that if you wanna achieve something and this is also in your golf. So if you practice, every shot must have a purpose. Do practice swings, overdo things. And I'm sure the process and the progress of improving will tremendously go faster than before if you give it more attention. So I know I haven't been hitting a lot of shots, but you know what, for you guys, I'm gonna hit another shot. Maybe you wanna watch some, some shoulder down movement whatsoever. That was a good shot extra for you. So I really hope I could help you a little bit. So if you like this video, put a thumbs up. As always, subscribe this channel, follow me on Instagram. And now I wish you good luck practicing and go the extra mile. Have fun.